I'm Andrew Kovacs. Uh, I'm an architectural designer based in Los Angeles. Um, my design studio is called Office Kovacs. Um, we work on all types of projects uh, from books, exhibition, interiors to works of public art. This project was a self-build done over the course of two and a half weeks. So if you were here uh, three weeks ago, none of this existed. There was a lot of planning beforehand. And when we arrived here, effectively we conducted a survey to mark out a grid of the 36 columns. The next step was to dig the holes for the foundations, um, which go about six feet into the ground, which then the rebar cages are placed with vertical rebar pieces extending up. So there's 60 total colors, 12 of them repeat, but when they repeat, they're paired with another color. So it's gonna be a little, would be a little challenging to maybe find out uh, where those colors are. And so the idea is, you know, really, uh, concrete blocks are quite standard and ubiquitous in our everyday world, right? And so, you know, architecture kind of builds up the world around us. And one of those materials is concrete masonry units. Here, the concrete masonry units are stacked vertically. What you effectively have is a column made out of standard units, but then each column is given two different colors to sort of make each one unique. This work is different than, say, um, a work of plop art. And what that might mean is just say something that you can just simply visually experience as opposed to something that you can physically engage. And so for me, I hope that this work becomes something that not only visually engages the community through if you're driving on MLK or you're on the Greenaway, but maybe something that can draw people to the Greenaway and hopefully become a place where people might gather.